Today we're going to talk about an easy way to teach your horse to lift their head up when you're grazing. And that's a, something that can come in handy because for a couple of reasons. One, it gives you the opportunity to communicate with your horse in a way that's not stressful for them or for you so that you can lift your horse's head up when they want to graze. And, and our horses definitely want to graze. They enjoy that. Good girl. And we're going to use positive reinforcement. Good girl. Okay. And specific cues that tell your horse when it's time to graze and when it's not time to graze. So I'm going to show you. We're just going to let her turn around. Turn up. Good girl. All right. So, so first thing that we need to do when we're teaching our horse when it's okay or not okay to graze is to give them a release cue. This is a very important because otherwise they don't know when it's okay. And we want to give them opportunities to graze if it's appropriate for them, if it doesn't cause any health issues or anything like that. Uh, so what we're going to do is, first I'm going to ask her to pick her head up. Good girl. I'm going to bring her over here. Good girl. Ask her to stop. And here's our release. Okay. So two things happen. One, she doesn't like the grass I picked for her. <laughs> but the, the cue is I give her a verbal signal, a hand gesture, and then I step back. I guess that's three things. So that she can now feel free to graze because I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not in her space. <laughs> she's a little, she's a little excited this morning. Then when we allow our horse to graze, we want to make sure that we're giving them slack in the line unless we have to redirect them for some reason. So let's turn her back around. Come here, baby. Boop. Good job. All right. Come here, baby. I know you have a cute butt. Okay. So we're going to give her a release again. Okay. Now her head is down. <laughs> she wants to do her smile. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, she doesn't want to graze, of course. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there we go. No, we don't. we're not doing it. Okay. Eat. Eat. There we go. Okay. Now, when we ask the head to come, her head to come up, what I'm going to do is three things. I'm going to approach her so that she start, She knows that... <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Come on. Okay. I'm going to approach her so that I'm changing my distance re related to her so that she sees that something is different and now I'm engaging with her versus being disengaged. I'm going to give her a kiss, a couple kisses, which is a go forward cue and she really needs to lift her head up to go forward so that works out really well. And then if needed I'm going to to, um, I'm going to put some pressure on the lead rope just consistently until her head comes up on her on its own. I'm not going to try to force it because if you brace and pull and get really strong and try to force their head up, that's not going to be reinforcing to them, meaning it's not going to be something that she's going to find pleasant and she'll get more um, resistant to picking her head up instead of being more interested in doing it for you. So, let's come over here, honey. Actually, maybe we can just do it right here. Alright, so I'm going to do the approach. Boop. And there her hat came up really nicely all by itself without any pressure. I didn't have to go to the third step at all. So let's release, okay. Let her take a couple bites. Approach. Boop, and their head came right up. See how nice and easy that is. Now this is something that she's familiar with. And she's been grazing for a little bit, so she's a little less excited, okay? And then we can have this nice conversation and we can just practice it over and over until it becomes uh, more of a, a locked-in behavior for her. I'm gonna do that one more time. Approach. And do a little pressure. And I can, boop, good job, good job. Now once her head lifts off of the ground, 
I'm going to give her her marker signal, the signal that captures the behavior I want her to repeat. And so timing is really important, and then it's important that she gets her food reward afterward, and that's the positive part of the positive reinforcement, adding something that your horse likes. And then what we can do too, if we want to work on keeping their head up over grass, we can just take, boop, we can start adding a little bit of length of time between boop, the moment that I reinforced her for picking her head up, boop, good job, and the, um, the next time I capture the behavior, boop. You can see she's more focused on me than she is on the grass. Boop. And she's holding her head up really well. So now I'm going to reinforce her even more. Okay. By releasing her. Okay. So I hope that helps. And that this is something that you can practice with your horse. And have a great relationship whether they're walking around on lush green pasture or, um, or anywhere. Thanks so much.